Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my guide on how to farm for the palindrome solo, which I've been doing a fair bit this morning because the palindrome was my weapon in Destiny 1. I used it for absolutely everything. Let's be honest, Season of the Chosen is shaping up to be possibly the best season we've ever had. And I personally am loving the fact that they're bringing these sorts of weapons back into Destiny 2. So, in this guide I'm going to show you how to run this strike as efficient as I found anyway, solo, without kind of speed running it. So it's about a 22 minute run. Uh, I'm using, uh, I'm actually using the messenger as my, uh, as my unstoppable. You can mix and match your weapons. I've gone with a sniper, the Borealis, as my barrier. Apex Predator as my heavy. And I'm running the, uh, the elemental uh, mods that came in with... Uh, the elemental well mods that came in with Season of the Chosen. So basically, I kill with a grenade, I get a well of light. I kill my super, I get a well of light. When I pick that well up, I get uh, charged with light times two, and I've got Ardent Ordnance, which is the rocket launcher uh, buff that you get from charged with light. I've been farming this all morning, as I, as I say. I've maybe done about 10, 10 runs. I've got three palindromes. Uh, of the best of which is the one I, I got doing this run, I think Outlaw High Impact Reserves. I also got a whole bunch of exotics, so there's a real reason to do this. So when you first come into the strike, you're going to be greeted with an unstoppable and a barrier. So as you can see, I've just dumped, I, I always try and take out as many of these ads as possible. The sniper is a one hit to break the shield and coupling it with my my rocket launcher which as you can see there is auto load and holster i really like that kind of ability to just be able to store the rocket launcher and get get it reloaded i decided to go with the borealis because i wasn't sure whether the borealis would get the benefit of uh the ionic return and doing more damage and it did so it was really cool the the the, the sniper worked a treat like I say, this is the strategy will hold up with different weapons. I'm I'm gonna explain my strategy as opposed to what I'm doing on the screen. So the idea in this first room is to take one of the champions, put a grenade on the ads as they come out. If you've got if you use the void subclass, it's a lot better. And then just make sure you take the the the, the second one comfortably from range. Uh in this area, you've kind of got... The first thing I do is I take take the ship out every time. Because one of the modifiers for the strike is that solar, solar damage is increased and so is airborne. So those ships are doubly deadly. Now, I am doing, as, as you might have noticed, and as I've already said, I'm doing this on the Hunter. So we have invisibility uh, going for us, but the Hunter's probably got the least kind of defensive... Uh, build of any of the characters. The Warlock's got the Weld, Titan's got the, the Barricade, and and the, the the Hunter absolutely destroyed the strike. It was it was actually really fun to do it. So, I take out the ship first, then I try and get rid of as many of the yellow bars, um, as many of the Cabal yellow bars, and the reason why I go after those guys is, out of all the ads in here, they are the only ones that seem to push us. So, you could, you've got a choice of what you do after that. As you can see, I, I sniped as much as, as possible. Uh, just to clear stuff... Uh, just to clear stuff quickly. The one hit ability of the sniper. But the plan is, get rid of all the... Get rid of all the yellow bars. Watch out for the snipers on this side where we are now. There's, there's two of them over here. And there's a yellow bar sniper down at the bottom. You might have seen up a rocket on the, the, the elite as well just to kind of make it easier to take him out at the end. Once I've done that, I, I, I go and pick up the unstable core. I come down here, there'll be three dogs. I take out the three dogs and then you've got this barrier. And then I start putting it on the barrier. Put a rock on him to start with. And then a couple of snipe shots. Now, again, if you're using a scout rifle, it kind of, it, you're going to be able to do the exact same kind of things. But the reason I went with the sniper, as, I've, as I'll say again, is simply because of its uh, impact from range. Now, once I've took out the the, the barrier, uh, 
I then I then make sure that the two snipers above the barrier are gone. And then I take the ship out. And then I put a rocket on the Centurion. That, that's over by where you're going to slam. Now normally you will definitely you'll definitely get either heavy or special from, from from these guys. But as you can see that sniper ran away. I was aware of him. When I come up here, you'll see me wait up here. The dogs normally don't run away from here. And what you what I was wanting was the dogs to come and gather around the where I was gonna slam because the slam will kill the dogs. That's why I was standing there waiting. As you can see a couple of them ran away and I didn't get the benefit of that splash attack from from slamming now we've got an unstoppable again because of that happening uh the unstoppable got a chance to come down i normally kill him up in the doorway exactly the way i'm doing here and you can see there we go the second snipe this 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 cabal guy is he'll always just appear out of nowhere uh and that, that's this area clear as you can see four and a half minutes and you've done the first major encounter, really, is done. Now, for farming, all you need to do is get platinum. We're not going for 100k. It's It would be hella difficult to get 100k on the legend and the strike. There, you'd need, it's not impossible. It can be done. Uh, I've been getting the 100k. I ran this a couple of times with a clan member. Uh, and uh, I think we got it down to 16 minutes with both of us. Uh, but it, but when we were going for the 100k, it was taking us 20 odd minutes. But that's because the only way we could get the 100k is obviously the presage. You start the presage mission in here. So I would continue through here uh, from the start to to enter the major room. The first big open space and, and, and my clan mate would, uh, would go into the presage mission and just clear all those enemies. So it was an extra 15,000 or 20,000 or something. So anyway... Once you've cleared all those, those enemies, the, the, the three Centurions and the, t the, two fa the two Scions, you don't have to kill them. I did to see if I'd drop some ammo. But you do need to kill this Barrier Champion, so we're just going to skip past all the ads. And then we can kind of get to the top of this ramp. And then we can kind of head glitch him from up here. Just, you know, let all the ads move about and do their own thing. Now, I, even though he fired at me, I needed to break his shield. So quite lucky get the reload and what i am going to be looking for is does he drop any ammo now i didn't dodge reload my sniper because i wanted to keep the invis the invis should i need it down here but i didn't so get on the spiral move to the left just just be a little bit more evasive than drive straight up that ramp and there we go i mean six and a half minutes and you're in the tank room now when you get in the tank room you focus on the tank, obviously. That goes without saying. What I try and do... Now, I've got a tracking tracking rocket. You'll see how much damage a second rocket does. And the reason why it done so much damage is because I actually aimed it, same as I've done there. I aimed it at each corner. So if you just go for the mid, you can, you can fire a heap of rockets at the mid of the... the, the mid of the, the tank. And it's not you're not necessarily going to actually kill the tank. Because you'll share the damage out on maybe legs that you've already broke. So aim, aim for the side of the tank that you think you haven't touched yet. As you can see, once I took the tank, I, uh, I fired my, my... I waited for a few ads to be there, and then I fired my tether. Grabbed as many of them as possible. And now, now I've got minimum enemies to put up with. There still are quite a few, but... Not as many as there would have been if I hadn't tethered them. And you might have noticed that there was a purple font of light on the floor. And if you look on the left hand side, I've now got charged with light times two. That's because of the Season of Dawn seasonal mods that I've I have been running these. I don't always run uh I don't always run War Mind Cell builds because I like obviously want to try new things and see what what's good. So once you've cleared out a bunch of these enemies, you just be careful when you go up here as you can see the ads do, especially, especially this part, they run away. And the minute you attack one, you'll see here the ch even the champion comes over to get, get involved. I've still got my dodge, so I just dodge invis, I see the champ, dodge invis. I've got, 
I, the helm I'm, I'm using, uh, the exotic helmet for the, the hunter, which is the Wormhurst Crown, gives me health back on dodge, so I decided that that would be a good thing to run here. Uh, so just be careful when you're coming up this ramp. This is probably one of the, the only real dangerous parts. So I've just put a rocket on this this champion. Break his shield. Make sure you break his shield. Don't let him get his health back. A couple of snipes, he's done. And now we're on to the second tank. Now, again, the second tank, you have to just make sure you're aiming at different, different corners of the tank. It really does help. Another thing I'm going to say is ammo consumption. Right, so as you'd have seen at the start, I've got uh, rocket launcher and sniper ammo finder and scavengers. If I've got 15 sniper rounds and I've got a brick of special on the floor, I won't pick it up. I can hold 19, but with scavenger, I can pick up 11. So uh, I'm just going to leave those. So as you can see there, I shot at the right corner, I shot at the left corner, and now I'm just going to throw a grenade. Hopefully the grenade lands on the tank. And there you go. So uh, I think I think the tank is still up actually. Uh, but the tank will have absolutely nothing left. Now you've seen there I fired match games on. I thought I thought I'd set the, the Borealis to void. I hadn't. Just put one more rocket on that tank. That should that should be enough. There we go. Uh that's why I chose to use the Borealis, as for its uh, ability to, to, to deal with multiple uh, multiple elements, so I, I could cover all the shields. And another cool thing is, I knew they changed it, but I hadn't really used the Borealis since they changed it. The new, the new way that you change your element is so cool. It's just a little kind of nudge to the side. I'm going to... I am trying to conserve ammunition because the one thing we're going to need when we get to the boss, you see, the reason I brought up, sorry, I'll digress, the reason I brought up that about the ammo consumption is uh, a couple of minutes ago, was because I had that heavy brick and I did need heavy, but I knew I was going to be using heavy, so I decided to keep it, and now I've dropped more heavy, and then boss dropped down. I've got a heavy brick over there, I've just sniped the boss, and now we're going to get a load of dogs, I'll just put a rocket and just clear all the dogs. And that's this area, so so yeah, the ammo consumption, if you know you're going to be using a weapon, sniper or, or, or whatever, if you're, if you're using scout and bow and all those things, it doesn't really matter because they're all primary, but if you're using a special and you're using a heavy, don't just pick a brick up because you've, you've used two. If you know you're going to use another one, wait and then see if you get three from that brick. It does happen. It just it just means that you you're not constantly going to be using every every piece of ammo you get just when you don't have to. So that that's that area done. Uh, the the takeaway from that area is it really works best on the tank if you do aim your rocket at the different sides because you want to damage all four legs. Now in this area, you've got a barrier, an unstoppable. Obviously, the boss is going to be hanging about trying to get pot shots. So I always just, I give him a chance to run away. Uh, so I always jump up to the right here. And then I can take some of the ads that are hanging about and maybe some of these Scorpius turrets. Uh, now, solar, solar damage has increased on my chest plate. I do have solar resist. Uh, if you don't have solar resist on, that can be kind of tricky. So there's one of the elite phalanxes gone. There's we're unstoppable. And I, I'm still having this problem with switching weapons. That was supposed to be my rocket launcher I was pulling out. But uh, luckily, because, I, because I'd done the damage and then walked away, he, he, was, he was in that sweet spot, that area where I wasn't a real threat. So he didn't, he didn't come after me. Again... Because of the high and low ground here, just be careful of any ads on the bridges. You see there what i done. Uh, I managed to take the first elite phalanx out just with weapons. And the second one I just, I always do it. I get one of them with weapons and I get one of them with uh, one of them with uh, a grenade. 
So now there's your barrier. Now what I do is I get him to look at me at one side. Then I switch sides. And when I, I switch when I'm when I'm gonna be taking him. And then he, if you if, don't 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 let him see you at one side and then try and attack from that side. In fact, do it purposely. Lead him. You know, they're not they're they're powerful and they're annoying, but they're not very clever. So just just show your face one side and then go to the other side and do the damage. I can't really get a shot on that elite. I was just looking to see where he was. Now we're just gonna clear up these uh, just these normal cabal, just these uh, normal legionaries, and hopefully I can see I've got heavy ammo there. So I would, I would like to get some special because the idea. Of doing the damage against this boss. Now I've been doing this strike for a long time. I maybe pushed it a little here. But it, it is supposed to be a farm. So I did push a bit of the damage. But I, I'll explain why. What we're going to do is we're going to get the boss active quickly. Now a lot of people that have been. If you've been watching my channel for, for a number of time. You'll know this strategy. Because I used to use it quite a lot. So the idea is we're going to jump up this chain, right? And we're going to jump up to the last section. Now, the reason I'm saying... How you know what section you're at is because it changes colour. Sometimes it's dirty, sometimes it's light. You can see there. So once you get up here, where I am, you're on the last section. Now I'm just going to slide down the chain. Just make sure I boost before I get to the end. Onto the box. And then what's going to happen is when we activate the lift, I'm going to get a drop pod. I'm going to try and get a grenade kill so I can get a font of light to, to help me uh, proc my Arden ordnance. And the grenade kill all, uh, all uh, three out of the four uh, cabal and I just got the other one. And now the boss is active for the whole journey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a host of rockets on the boss. I'm going to try at the end to get some snipe kills on him which... Sounds easier than what it actually is because with the with the the with the the left still moving it readjusts. So what I'm going to do here is I just decided because it because the Scorpius Scorpius uh, uh, turrets were out, I wanted to get another rocket on the boss. I really wanted to push this damage, but it turned out I couldn't. So what I'm going to do now is. I always come to this side because it does give you about as much cover as you're going to get. There, There is a Centurion, a Solar Shielded Centurion. I'll just throw a grenade up there. I actually threw the grenade too far, but the ship is in. Whenever you see the ship, if the ship comes that close to you, you're going to have to go invisible. I'm going to burn a rocket here just clearing some of these guys. There's my Centurion. It's him we want rid of because airborne damage. And now there's just a couple of these guys left. I'm, I'm just going to run through them. And there we go. Now, the idea is, we've done that amount of damage to put them into, to put the boss into what I call his cocoon phase. This is, this is where he'll go up. He's above us in that platform. I got heavy there, that's nice. He's above us in that platform, so he's got three health, three, three, three health bits you see there. I got him to half health. Now I need to get him well into his last health bar so that he goes to the next platform. Now, if you're lucky, and I, was, I wasn't, I was you can kill him on the next time. You know? Now, there are going to be people, and I know there are, so let's address this now. There are going to be people that are going to be thinking, wait a minute, why, why didn't you just melt him? Because... I'm going to be honest, the, the, the weapons I've chose are for people who aren't used to doing, you know, one phase nightfall bosses. This is a guide for people who otherwise don't think they could have done this. So, it, sometimes I get comments and it, it makes me question why some people watch the videos because it, the video might not be for them. You know, so... You want to get him to about, you know, well into his second health bar before at this point. So what this is where I, where I said I said I'm going to push the damage a little bit. I'm just looking to see if there's any special about. What I'm going to do, I kind of wasted a little bit. And you'll see here, 
I wasted my tether a little bit because I was expecting him to come out before now. And he just disappeared. And then I tumped back round and he just appeared. Now, he's in the tether, so no, because he's in this tether. I know the dogs are coming out. I know ads are coming out. I just need to put as much damage as I can on him. Because I don't want to have to do a lot to him when uh, when he comes back. So I'm just going to jump up here, get one more rocket on him. And then I'm going to go back to the spot. I, I, I used all my rockets to make it easier on myself after, after this phase. So back into this corner, there is a point in this corner where the dogs will not follow you. If you go far enough, you see I'm, I'm just getting this charge with light. And um, if you move into the right and you go back so far, if you go right back, you'll get a turn back sign. Now what I'm doing is I don't have any rockets. I've got enough sniper though. I'm just going to melt this ship and get rid of the ship. Know where we are now. We're in a good spot. The, the, the cabal won't come round. Only the dogs will, you see there. That's who we wanted. We wanted rid of him. And now it's just easy pickings. Just shooting the dogs. Hopefully getting some heavy. No, I think I ended up with full heavy. And I, d I didn't actually need it. So, while, while I'm just clearing these ads from this corner. these This is the takeaway. The, the, these are these are the bullet points, if you like, for this. First one is ammo consumption. You need rocket launcher ammo and sniper ammo. Uh, as rocket launcher and sniper ammo, and you need uh, scavenger. Two, don't pick up every single piece of uh, uh, ammo you get, even if you've, you've got seven rockets you can hold. Uh, got seven rockets you can hold. You've used two. There's a brick. There's a there's a heavy brick. If you know you're going to use another rocket, just leave that brick and collect it after you've used your other rocket, just to see if you get the three. Uh, double solar resist on your chest plate, because you know that's the damage. The solar damage is the damage. You see there, the boss has got absolutely nothing. Do as much damage as you can from range, whilst. Watching this video to, if you, obviously you're watching this because you're listening to me and I'm, I'm speaking to you, whoever you are. Uh, learn learn the, the ad spawns. And if you learn the ad spawns, you can, you can attack some of them first, you know. Uh, where, where at all possible, and you'll have seen me do it, especially with the dogs, wherever possible, uh, if you've got a heavy brick lying on the floor... Don't 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 be shy about using heavy to clear trash mobs. You know, if if you can if you can if you can afford the ammunition, then do it. When you get to the boss, Scorpius, watch out for the Scorpius uh, turrets because solar damage has increased and they really really hurt. And don't don't get into that thing I see a lot of people do where, where you're just constantly trying to fight champions with primary or energy. If you've got heavy, that's what you should be using on the champions just to bust them down. And that's the run, guys. Uh, as you can see, I got Frosties. I got uh, my a palindrome. And that was the, the as you'll see here, I'll show, I'll show it here. That was the... Outlaw High Impact Reservist one, which is the best one I've had. I will try and farm, obviously, for a Rampage Outlaw. And there we go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you guys go in and get a good farm. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do a farm. Let me know what kind of roles you got. And, and good luck to everybody that's watching this. Thanks a lot for the support. If you enjoyed it, a like would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.